Friday, we are here hopping on live. It is Q and A day. You got questions, and we got answers. Maybe, maybe, maybe. By the way, unless you like, ask me a complicated, do you like this question. hat? It is now available. I, huh? I really like your hat. Where can I get it? Shop Wait, where? Shop Wait, where? Shop.erinandsarit.com. If you like this hat, you can now get it. There's only like 10 left though. Okay, well, if you like it and you want to get it, you better act. If you like to teach our community, then you better be on the screen. <laughs> okay. Okay, take a screenshot of this and then post it on the page. With a flex. Do a flex Friday with us in the back. Okay, yeah, like flip your phone around if you're on a computer. Which face are you going to get? <laughs> okay. All right, anyways, welcome to Friday. We're feeling today's Frisky Friday. Mm, okay. So you might get some frisky answers. Let's see who is joining us today. <laughs> joining us today we should sing our welcome song yeah our welcome song good morning mary, mary rebecca daniela nicole. nicole oh i think that we missed some oh and that's we all we got so far see. if you're here oh tammy if you're here hit us in the comments i realize we can't see who is actually here unless they comment so anyways Welcome to Espresso with Aaron and Sarit today. This is my espresso because it was left over from yesterday. And so that's how it's going to go mm -hmm. today. Um, on this show, there is a form where you can ask questions. And then we look at those questions and we will provide answers to the questions that we feel will benefit the most amount of people. If we can't answer all the questions, those are the ones we pick. And... Coach Super Nanny, can you drop the link in the comments so that they have access to that if they decide at any point in time, they're like, oh, maybe I do have a question. Hit that link, submit your question, and then maybe you'll see it on a Friday live episode. By the way, we do these every Friday at precisely 11.06-ish Eastern time. <laughs> I like that. And so you can join us live. Um, otherwise, we will post it somewhere, either on this page at Lives or YouTube. By the way, before we get to those uh, questions that you've got, just a heads up that we are currently 17 days away from, from another round of a brand new Transformation Kickstart Challenge. It's true. Okay, we are starting on Monday, August 15th. So, if... You are here listening to this because you just joined the Transformation Kickstart Challenge and you want to immerse yourself with all things ENS. It's great to have you here. Welcome. Uh, please, like, you know, uh, make a post so that we can see you uh, because you are here to see that this community is so supportive. If you've been in the community for a while, and you know you could just use uh, an extra little booster then join us for the five-day TKC whether this is gonna be your first time second time third time or even tenth time let's make it a point to invite one friend or one person in our lives to join us for the TKC and the reason why you want to do this is because here's the deal habits are contagious you guys and the more people that you have in your life in who your are circle. on board who are thinking and acting the same way that you do guess what the less resistance you will have which means the further you will be able to go the sooner Genius. okay Genius. so join us for the five-day transformation kickstart challenge if you haven't already and make it a point to also 
invite somebody who's close to you. All you gotta do to sign up if you haven't already is simply go to www.erinansuri.com forward slash TKC. I think they can just go to erinansuri.com forward slash TKC. Or erinansuri.com and then it's like boom. First sure. thing that pops up. Sure. Many ways Either to way. the same destination. Yeah, Annabelle's do it, do it, do it. All right. All right. Let's get to it, shall we? We shall. Question number one today comes from... Ooh, Amy Gillespie. Amy G. This is a wonderful question. Wonderful question. Can you shed light... Oh, that is a good question. ...on the whole muscle weighs more than fat myth? So, first of all, I have a question. Mm -hmm. If this weighs one pound, and this weighs one pound, mm -hmm. which one weighs more? They both weigh the same. They both weigh one pound! Okay, 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 okay. Five pounds is five pounds. One pound is one pound. Fat or muscle, a pound is a pound. Okay, it's mass, it's a measurement. Okay, now, if this weighs one pound and this weighs one pound, which one takes up more space? Mm, let me guess, this one. Ding, ding, ding! Okay, now, both a pound, but take up different volumes. So good, so okay. good. Take up different volumes. Now, Sarit's breakfast. <laughs> that she hasn't finished eating yet because you are so important. We gotta get to you. If this weighs one pound, and this weighs one pound. Does that mean that they are the same texture, same content, same amount of desirable? So I think you get the point, but let's explain. Yeah, that that those were such great analogies. And you guys I will actually say that I I get irked a little bit when I hear somebody says, Well yeah, but like it's like people say it with so much certainty, like muscle weighs more than fat. It's like when I when I hear somebody says that, Amy G, I love the fact that you're asking it because you're probably hearing so many people say that. The truth is, is that muscle does not weigh more than fat. Mass is mass, you guys. One pound of fat equals one pound of muscle. Now, what people don't understand, this is just pure physics right now, is muscle is more dense than fat. So, one pound of muscle is going to take up a lot less space than one pound of fat. However, one pound of fat and one pound of muscle is one pound, okay? It's just going to look, take up less space, okay? So for example, okay, if you had the same, two people who weigh the same, let's say person number one weighs, um, come on, We're vibing. We're vibing. Let me make sure they can see it. So the, the formula that we want to consider is the formula for density. Okay, this is just straight up physics, you guys. And density equals mass over volume. She busted out the whiteboard. Okay, so muscle
versus Welcome to class, everybody. Fat. One pound. One pound. One pound and one pound is the same. Okay? So the mass is one. Is this okay. your bicep? It's just, yeah, it's like a little, a little bicep. And then here are just... Looks like a lemon with cellulite. <laughs> you guys get it, right? But what's different about the fat, the, like the pound of fat and the pound of muscle, is this. So the mass is the same, but the density is different, okay? So for example, if you have two people, person A weighs 150, 150 pounds, okay? Person B, oh, uh, magic touch. Okay, we're here. <laughs> Mind of its own. It's Friday. It's, <laughs> it it, it does whatever it, it wants. already took the weekend. <laughs> yes, you, you guys can see this too. Person B weighs 150 pounds. Their weight is the same, but what's different is their body composition. Okay? So let's say person A is Sarit. Is, let's say, you know, like, lean, whatever, let's give them a six pack, you look like Thund e. thunder thighs. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? What is that? It looks like a front butt. <laughs> and then she's got a thigh gap. Uh, what? That does not what make is that? Whatever. Do you what? put, are those MC Hammer pants? That's like Popeye gone wild. Like you guys, this doesn't make sense. Are you those swole, swell bows? Are those swollen elbows? And then person Who volunteered her to draw. And then person B, you guys, I'm just whatever. You you get the point. Person B is just I can't wait for person B. Let's see this. Let's just say, you know. <laughs> we have shark fin arms. <laughs> you know, they just their legs are not muscular and their midsection is a little bit on the, you know. You know. Let's do a belt and then like some muffin tops. <laughs> it looks like, like Santa Claus. It looks like Aladdin pocket. You guys get it. However, they both weigh 150 pounds. You guys, what is different? Their body composition. So your body composition is made up of two things. Your skeletal muscle mass and your body fat percentage. Okay, so their weight is the same, okay? But, you guys, the volume, okay? Somebody's penguin bee. <laughs> <laughs> Who was that? Penguin bee. Who said that? <laughs> Nicole Moreno. Oh my God! That's yeah, so you funny. guys. I mean, I should probably not teach art art class. Don't don't sign me up to teach your kids how to do art. Okay, but you guys, the volume of the person looks different. Okay, so Amy G, great question. To answer your question. Muscle does not weigh more than fat. Muscle is just more dense than fat. Therefore, it's going to look more compact. Okay? Like, <clears throat> fat is going to take up more volume and it's just going to be more spread out. And jigglier. Yeah. And that's why, you guys, the number on the scale is not everything. Because you can have two people who weigh 150 pounds. One of them can be extremely overweight if they're like, you know, 4'11", no muscle mass. The other one can be jacked with 16% body fat. So, you know, what you really want to take into consideration over time, because most people, you guys, look, 42% of Americans are obese. Okay, which means that 
most people, their volume does not lie in the fact that they have a shit ton of muscle. Let's be really, you know? Um, it's because they just have a lot of excess fat. As you get leaner and leaner and leaner, what you want to look for is how much am I increasing my skeletal muscle mass by and how much I'm reducing my body fat percentages. And that's why for people who starve themselves or, you know, just completely cut out carbs, it's absolute nonsense because what you're doing is you're literally shutting this down. But it could help you with losing fat for a little bit of time. What do you want? Do you want improved body composition or do you just want to see like five less pounds on the scale? I can put you in a sauna for 30 minutes and you can weigh five less pounds. Doesn't make you any leaner. I want to bring up another misconception when you said <clears throat> the number on the scale isn't always, uh, you know, like the best, um, tell of you know our our fat loss progress mm -hmm. um another thing that i hear women say i've heard for over over a decade too like you know um if they didn't lose any weight the next thing that is said is what it's because muscle i gained muscle oh yeah it's because i gained muscle i gained three pounds of muscle hold on hold up wait a minute Muscle, uh, okay, so muscle is one of those things that takes a, a while to develop, to build. To accumulate a pound of muscle on a female body with the hormones of a typical female um, takes a while, even one pound. I would say within a year, like being consistent, lifting with the intention of gaining muscle, like lifting weights that are really challenging, being consistent with it. Um, over the course of a year, I would say, how much muscle do you think a girl could put on, like really, really, really making a serious effort? Five pounds, maybe? Five pounds is really good. Five pounds would be really good. Five pounds is really In good. In a year. So to think that, <clears throat> oh, I've gained, you know, three pounds or five pounds or whatever of, of muscle within the matter of a couple of months and then saying like that's the reason why you didn't lose fat like it like Sarit said the scale is just overall mass I've said before if I weigh myself and then I drink this and then I weigh myself again I will weigh 16.9 it's fluid ounces so I don't know if it's the same in weight but I will yeah. weigh more, right? Yeah. If I weigh myself and I take a one pound poop, I'm gonna weigh one pound less, right? So it's just overall mass. It has nothing to, it, do, it doesn't have nothing to do with fat loss, but there's so many other contributing factors that the scale is such a difficult thing to go off of. That's why we say only if you're gonna weigh yourself regularly to not do it more than once a month mm -hmm. because you need some time for it to, say like, hey, yeah, I've lost fat or I haven't. I know women step on the scale every single day and it reads a different number and you're like, oh my God, I gained a pound of fat. Or you're like, oh my God, I'm doing really good. But it's like, it's not a good tool for measurement on a daily or even weekly basis. Mm -hmm. um, if you're trying to measure fat loss. Yep. Okay. Now, you can use it for other things, you know, but for fat loss, not a realistic measurement unless you're doing it like over spans of time. Then you can be like, okay. And you know, I wanna <clears throat> shed light on another misconception that we hear very often. I think if you're in this community actually like gaining mm. muscle and having muscle definition is probably something that you're interested in. And if so, let me see you drop a double flex on a flex Friday. Now, you know, something that we hear very often is, oh, but I don't want to get bulky oh. or I get bulky very quickly. I gain so, muscle really quick. I'm like, here's the reality of it. Yes, you could be the type of person who gains muscle quickly. However, 
when it really comes to manipulating body composition, I will tell you that muscle is very energetically costly because it is very metabolically expensive. Muscle is the most metabolic organ, which means that, you know, yes, it helps you to burn more energy, but at the same time, it takes more energy to maintain it. So here's the deal. For anybody who thinks that if you're going to start lifting weights and you're going to look like you, you came straight out of like Miss Olympia or Arnold. Popeye. You are up to a really rude awakening because I can tell you that when you get to a point where your body is just very happy in the sense that, you know, your body composition is optimal in the sense that your skeletal muscle mass ratio is higher than, you know, your fat ratio and you're standing at, you know, if you're a woman like, you know, anywhere between 14 to 18% body fat, that's like optimal. Now, that's athletic. Yeah, and that takes a lot of hard work. I will tell you that, I mean, for Erin and I to gain five pounds of muscle a year with where we're at right now, we are going to need to work really, really hard. Like a couple times a day, um, you know, up our eating intake and our protein intake probably by a double to a point where we feel like we want to puke. We already take the creatine supplement, but probably we'll need to double up on that. And, you know, like getting your skeletal muscle mass to a point beyond where it feels really good at is going to take you more time and it's going to take you more work. Okay, so like something that I can kind of expect over the years at this point in my life, you know, as long as I stay clean with my nutrition and all of that is probably, you know, an average of about a pound to a pound and a half of increased muscle mass, if that. A year? Yeah. So like just goes to show you that, you know, like the more... Like you have to really make an effort. Well, you, go ahead. The oh. more advanced you become in the journey, the more work it's going to take you and the more time it's going to take you. And that's why a lot of women who want to get really muscular end up taking a lot of shit, which like we know a lot of people who did that and like we're so Take it's a gonna lot sound of shit. harsh. But take I'm, a lot of like, but I'm I'm very anti that because I'm all about. Hold on, you said take a lot of shit. I don't think they understand what that means. A lot of shit is like steroids and like you know, um, not as legal shit. Le mm -hmm. Supp right, supplements that are illegal drugs that it help healthy. to enhance you know like muscular definition, muscle mass, and muscle density. And fat mass, like people. I feel like do it a lot of times for the very much the wrong reasons. And then it ends up coming back five, 10 years later, biting them in the ass. The whole point is just like with anything in life, you know, if you want to get to the top, just be willing to put in the work and put in the work for a really long time and be willing to, you know, change your character around it rather than just waiting for your body to show up that way because you need to show up for your body and your body will follow and that's what people don't understand true <clears throat> the other piece of this is like um i think that i know that i know one of the reasons why um somebody can think like oh i get you know i gain muscle really quick or i get bulky really quick um one time uh, I, I was working with this guy and he was a very blunt individual uh, and Do I, I think I know who it is? No, 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 no. This was like at 24 hour fitness in Oregon oh, okay. um, I it was the other one. And he was just like, you know, very honest and, But you know, he, he meant well he wanted to help but this this woman was in there and they were doing an assessment and she was about like 300 pounds and she said 
you know, I don't want to get bulky. <clears throat> and he said, he said, do you feel bulky right now? And I'm like, that's a really good point, right? Like, if, if you're feeling like, wow, I want to lose a lot of weight, like, which kind of bulky, if you're going to be bulky, would you rather be? Muscular bulky or fat bulky? You know, just like as a straight up logical question. But now, I think that the reason we, we can feel that way is because when you start lifting weights or you start doing resistance training, your muscles get swollen, especially if they're not used to it. They get really swollen underneath the fat, and so you feel like, oh, I'm, like, I got beefed up. But it isn't that you have gained a bunch of muscle, it's just the feeling of, like, swelling, right? Like, if you ever got, like, um, a cut and, like, your finger swells or you, like, smash your pinky and it, like, swells, mm -hmm. right? It's, it's swollen, it's inflamed because you've done damage to it. Now, the damage isn't bad damage, it's micro tears and that's necessary, right, for them to grow, to be stronger, to adapt to the stimulus you just put them under. And so, it's, it is easier to feel because you are feeling that inflammation and that swelling from the inside to be like, oh, I'm getting bulky. But that is not, like, that can't be your indicator of, like, you've just gained a bunch of muscle really fast. So, mm -mm. I want to throw that out there, too, because I think that sometimes that's why women feel that way. Um, yeah. So that's something that you just got to like see it through, let it roll past, you know. Um, it really does take a lot of effort to gain muscle. And the bigger you are, actually, because mass moves mass. So the bigger you are, usually the more weight you can lift. Uh, if you take two people, again here, <clears throat> if you take two people um, and you take the 150-pound person B is pretty depends if they're both 150 pounds. If person B was 250 pounds, person B, even though this person is probably stronger per their weight, person B will lift more weight off the ground. Person B will be able to pull more weight up off the ground, assuming they've got the same form, same background, same history, same um, you know amount of time, training, all that stuff. The person who weighs more will lift more. Yeah, and then that... So, what I'm saying is that can contribute to them gaining muscle a bit faster. Mm -hmm. And then when they do get leaner, they would be more muscular, right? So, you know, there's all these different... I don't know if that really... That again, it's really hard to get bulky. Yeah, and then, you know, that's why from a fitness perspective, you know, the way that, you know, we execute it in our community right like for most people when they start their fitness journey with us you start with the rise above you go through the burn zones and then you know you have to qualify for the underground training club you know it is not about being that necessarily the person who can lift the heaviest true fitness or general physical preparedness means the person who is able to do the most amount of relative work Okay, it's called work capacity around uh, you know a broad set of domains so for example you know just because let's say person B let's say they weigh 250 pounds let's say they have a 500 pound deadlift and let's say person A who weighs 150 pounds and have a 300 pound deadlift that that doesn't necessarily mean that person B is fitter overall from a general physical preparedness standpoint than person a it just means that that person has a heavier deadlift you know like the person who's fitter is you know if there were multiple tests okay who can lift the heaviest and also run the fastest and do the most amount of pull-ups in a certain amount of time that is the fitter person okay so just to think about it this way because a lot of people think about, oh, a fit person is somebody who works out a lot and burns a lot of calories, not necessarily. Or somebody that just looks really lean and shredded. Yeah. Also could be very unhealthy. Yeah, or very unfit. I can tell you guys when, you know, when I started training because I got on my right path like nine months before that, when I walked into a CrossFit gym the first time, everybody like, 
could have sworn that I was some kind of crazy athlete, but then I couldn't even do a single wall ball because I was so unfit, right? But but you were lean. But I was lean. So it's not just about how you look. It's or you know, in this case, when it comes to performance, it's not just about show muscles, but go muscles, right? Like what kind of work are you able to put with you know the type of muscles that you have? And that's why we're not big advocates when it comes to all things bodybuilding because we don't believe that those necessarily are fit people. Now, if you're into that, fantastic. But, you know, that is not what we preach because we don't believe that that is the sustainable route to health and fitness. So That was a lot of answers for one question. Yeah, we go on tangents. Are you guys finding value in today's conversation? If so... Let me see you drop a double flex, yo. Double flex, a double flex for the win. <clears throat> All right, next question we're gonna get to Tanya. Mm, I is love that a it. new name? Mm-hmm. There's a few. How do I figure out what works, or how do you figure out what works for your actual body? <laughs> Low carb, intermittent fasting, cardio, strength, etc. I'm so lost, and I gotta make the face of this emoji. Did my eyes it does down? sound like a new name and i hope you joined us be- look you all know. these boom 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 i love it i love it Ooh, see this see? is a hebrew name shani 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 it's a hebrew name i wonder if you're alive shani if you're from israel but that's not her question but okay. anyways so um just from the sounds of your of your question i can tell you're lost you didn't even have to say that and you know that this is the problem with the information era you know there's so much there's an oversaturation of information but the reality is is the application is what matters most by the end of the day so i'm not sure uh what's her name Tanya, Tanya, I'm really glad that you joined our community. I would say that a great place for you to start in terms of fitness is with a 14 um, day rise above program. In the TKC, we're gonna be shedding light when it comes to nutrition, but the reality is, um, you know, what the principle that we follow, that we teach and preach is eat real food, not too much, mostly plants, it's not keto. It's not intermittent fasting or any of that. Those are just, you know, different forms of diets that put a certain structure on a person, like keto, the structure of limiting your carb intake by, if you're really doing it right, like eliminating it. Not sustainable, why? Because if mother nature gives you you know carbohydrates and you're like i'm not gonna take one of the things that mother nature gives me then you can only do it for so long anyways this is not a talk about keto right now um intermittent fasting structure with regards to the length of time in which you eat or don't eat you guys those are things that somebody can start with give me just 10 seconds however what you're gonna find is that you it's not sustainable Okay, um, what matters is the overall principle for you to follow. Go for it. Oh, okay, I have to go on a little tangent here. Yeah, go for it. <clears throat> here. Here. I'm so frustrated with diet culture and with the weight loss and body transformation industry. Things like keto, I don't know this as 100% fact, but I do know, but what I don't know is that keto was solely made for, oh, sorry, no. Uh, I think keto was made for, designed for a specific purpose that isn't uh, weight loss first hand right like weight loss is not the first intention of keto i do not believe right but i'm not 100 but but it became an indirect byproduct yeah so what i do know for 100 certainty is that 
when you put keto on any food, it becomes more desirable currently in today's age. Why? It doesn't even have to be a keto product. As long as they say keto, if that person is not educated about what keto actually is, they'll buy it thinking that they're doing a good job. And that is a criminal act, I truly believe. You are taking advantage of somebody being undereducated rather than trying to educate them you're just trying to get them to buy your shit because they believe that keto is going to help them lose weight that to me is criminal <clears throat> we had a marketer one time try to tell us that you know we needed to find some special name for what we do so that it's new to the industry so people will think like oh this is the newest trend so that we can sell a bunch i'm like no people need to know the truth and it's not sexy to sell. It isn't sexy to say, guess what? You gotta wake up a little earlier. Guess what? You have to sometimes work out when you don't fucking feel like it. Guess what? It's gonna be hard. It's gonna hurt. You're gonna sweat. You're gonna wanna cry. Some days you're not gonna feel like doing it. You're gonna be really sore. You're not gonna be able to sit down on the toilet sometimes. It is hard. That is Biblical not- Biblical diet? <clears throat> Hold on. That is not sexy to sell. Nobody wants to hear that that's what they're gonna have to do. And especially, it's hard for people to think, oh yeah, I wanna pay for that. Sure, I would like to pay for you to help me do something that's gonna be really hard. People want fast, people want easy, people want convenient. And this has made us weak, so weak. There is no substitution for hard work. I'm so grateful that like the time that I was born in, because I feel like I, I missed the era of lazy. I feel like I barely, I barely came before it. And I'm so grateful because I have an experience growing up where I have chores to do and I earn money. I earn an allowance. I earn the things that I want by working hard to get them. And, I, and I now, because I know this, I have the ability to teach this to other people, to the younger generation or to a generation that has adapted to this. Like, there's be something beautiful about convenience, right? I use Instacart, it's convenient. But what am I doing in that time where I'm having somebody else shop for me? Am I sitting on the couch eating a bag of potato chips? Hell no. And I'm, convenience should be used so that you can be doing other things that are productive. Not because we don't feel like doing something. Mm -hmm. And all these diets try to say like, <clears throat> oh, you just fast, do this, you just easy. do that. Like it's fast, it's easy, it's, look, we say things like it's simple because it is, it is simple. Eat real food, not too much, mostly plants, simple. That doesn't mean you're not gonna have bad days. That's life, period. Every diet is going to be hard. It doesn't matter what they tell you. And guess what the most, guess what the most difficult diet is to do? The one that you can't keep doing. Because what happens is you lose weight, can't do it anymore because it's not sustainable. Keto, intermittent fasting, counting calories, counting macros, all of this. Guarantee you, out of 100 people that say they love counting macros. Even they have not been 100% consistent counting them. Even they have had moments where they're like, fuck this, I'm not, I'm not tracking this right now. I'm not counting this right now. And there's maybe a tiny, tiny percentage of people that just do it all the time and enjoy it. And enjoy it. The only way you will do it all the time is if you truly enjoy it. Not because you're forcing yourself to, not because you feel like a prisoner to counting calories or macros, none of that, because you truly, genuinely enjoy it. There's the tiniest fraction of people. Mm -hmm. And if you can't stick to something, what happens is you lose weight and people say all the time, oh, you know what worked the best for me was this. And I'm like, well then why do you still wanna lose weight if it worked the best for you? It didn't work. Unless your goal was to lose weight so you could gain it back. Worked fantastic. But my, my guess, I don't mean to make any assumptions, is that that's not what you intended to happen. I'm major soapboxing right now. 
and oh, did See, you just get a text? I Read just want to show you guys like Read the it. stupid shit I get. Read Sarit, it. fancy to lose fifty-eight pounds. Fancy to lose. 58. Click the link, Helen. Fuck off, Helen. I don't have fifty-eight pounds to lose. You did not do your research, Helen. But that's the, the deal but, is, but, but, the, but, the, the, but the thing is that they'll shoot it out to anyone and everyone that could possibly get a phone number for, doesn't matter how many people reply stop, doesn't matter how many people like want to rant, rant at them, it doesn't matter how many people ignore it, the number of people that will click on it because they're like, yeah, I want to lose 50 pounds, let me see what this is, and then they get suckered into something that's bullshit. And then when we get on the phone with somebody or when we do something where we're like, hey, do our program, you're, you're going to have to put in work. You're going to have to do, do this and this and that. They're like, I don't know if I can do that. I've tried so many things and they haven't worked. I'm like, yeah, because you tried things that don't work. If somebody is, is telling you it's going to be easy, you're not going to have to work hard for it. It's going to happen really fast and everything's going to be fine and dandy and freaking sunflowers and rainbows and care bears and lollipops. Run away. Now don't confuse that with, hey, we're going to simplify this for you. We're going to break this down so it's simple to understand so that you can do it long term. That's different. And, you know, oh, I want to finish this circle. Okay. I'm almost there. I'm going to close it. What I want to say is I'm grateful for you being here. I'm grateful for you giving us a chance, giving us an opportunity, because I truly believe, and I don't know everybody on the internet, so I'm sure there's some other really good people out there who are well-intended, who are trying to truly help people to understand that, like, you want something that you feel like is going to be worth it, then be willing to work for it. Um, because that is just, there's no substitution. There's no substitution for hard work. And the, it's crazy, the harder you work and the more you show up for yourself, it seems like the luckier you'll get, okay? So I'm grateful that you're here. I'm grateful that you're learning. We wanna educate you. We wanna help you to help yourself. We wanna help you to the degree in which you will not have to be dependent on us. The reason we like these diets and we tend to go towards them is because they give us structure. They tell us exactly what to do. So in our minds, there's no confusion. There's no decisions we feel we have to make that we are not certain are gonna help us get to our goals. Because they tell you as a matter of fact, if you eat four ounces of chicken breast and one half a cup of brown rice, not white rice because it's bad, brown rice and broccoli, no tomatoes, there's sugar in that, no carrots, carbohydrate, a glycemic index, no, no, no. And then you like get so obsessed with all this, like you, you, it freaking drives you insane and you're a prisoner. You are a prisoner to the next diet. No, thank you. No, thank no, you. Thank you. Here is the deal, and whether it's whatever trend it is, the problem lies in the fact that the biggest missing link is that if you are looking to change your body, manipulate it in any way without changing your ways, it's just not going to happen. And for anybody who joined the TKC or if you're in our programs, you know that the power of all things ENS is because we help you to develop the character traits that allow for your body to shift. So not only you can start making those body changes, but you can get to a point where you keep it and continue to evolve with it. Do not expect for your body to change without changing your ways. And if you do follow a pattern that, you know, promises to change your body without changing your ways, sure, maybe, maybe you'll be able to, you know, 
lose a couple of pounds or even drop more than a couple of pounds uh, you know for six months or whatever but you know what's gonna happen you're gonna find yourself in the same place and the way that I see it nobody wants to drop 40 pounds to gain it all back and and drop it again nobody does but that's where most people are because they want their body to change without wanting to ch change themselves listen you want anything to transform in your life for the positive, you have to consciously make it a point to change your ways. You, know you have to be. It is every single thing that you want to do right. to improve in your life. You have to work on just becoming a better person. That's it. Self-improvement. That's it. By the way, I'm going to say something. Raw Transformation Program. There's a program we have. It's eight weeks. It's 400 bucks. If you are interested in truly getting to your goals and investing in yourself, I know we're promoting the TKC right now, Transformation Kickstart Challenge, everybody do it, yeah, cool, it's gonna be really fun and electric and great and you're gonna get all these tools and resources and uh, the principles that we you know, explain to help you sustainably, able to sustainably be able to lose weight and keep it off and blah, 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 which is the truth, it is all the truth, but at the same time, like, Five days is not going to be the mover shaker, right? Five days is going to be amazing to get you connected with the community, to get you educated on the things that you've been so misinformed about. And since like what we're talking about is so spot on right now with a lot of like what we talk about in the TKC, not just diet related, we go actually in into depth. How can you apply things to your life, give you the challenges of the things that you can apply to your life. Even if all you did was those five days and you actually consistently applied one or two of those things for the next year, you would improve. Guaranteed, hands down, no lie about it. Now, if you actually want to make a substantial change and you want somebody to help you because you've been trying to do it on your own, doing keto, intermittent fasting, low carb, no carb, no sugar, no alcohol, no fun, no flavor, death of you, then do the raw transformation. Send us an email, support at Um, or, yeah. Danny dropped the link down. Great. The raw transformation program is that, transformational. Not, not just from a nutritional standpoint or a fitness standpoint, fuck those things. I'm feeling, I told you, maybe it's Feisty Friday. Feisty Friday. I'm telling you, it is transformational from a whole life thing. And if you've done the raw transformation, you're listening to me right now, you're like, preach girl, louder for the people in the back. Drop a comment, inspire people who are scared. People are scared to invest this in themselves because they've invested so much money in the past. But look, you wouldn't be here if you didn't still want to improve. You wouldn't be here if you didn't have even a sliver of hope that you were going to somehow maybe have a possible chance of getting to your goals you have come into the presence of the right people and the right community right now take advantage of it please for yourself mm -hmm. i wake up every single day and i fight for people to win i fight for people to win and i get really tired sometimes and i get sometimes i want to punch people like keto people not people that tried keto but people that want to sell things by putting keto on it just because they know people will buy it those kind of people want to punch them and we just, we need to be better educated. That's what we're here for. We need to be in the right community of people who truly have our backs. That's what we're here for. And I will bleed myself out to death fighting for you to get the results that you've been looking for for God knows how many years. Because if I can make that impact on your life and then I can go to my grave knowing that I fought for people to live their best quality of life, their healthiest lives and lives they actually feel excited to wake up for because uh, over 50 percent of people do not right now and it breaks my heart and i've been on that end and i've been on the end that i'm on now and i will fight and the raw transformation program is a great place to start for may i add an extremely low price for what you get. Mm -hmm. I was not intending on sales pitching to you. By the way, I didn't even pitch. I'm not even going to tell you what you get. You know what you get? 
you show up, you get the results you've been struggling for. The things don't matter. The things, this workout program, that workout program, this nutrition thing, this success manual, this uh, coaching call, this blah, blah, blah. You show up, you're going to get what you need to succeed. Mm -hmm. You just have to show up. And you have to be invested in yourself. I saw a lot of comments coming through, but I was like, oh, I just want you to win. I want you to win so it's, bad. It's fashion, you guys. It, it, you know, the hardest thing about what we do is we're literally going against the grain. And we are going to do everything in, that we can to make you guys so successful be, because it's your guys' success that's going to speak louder than anything else. Nobody, until we've transformed millions of lives, nobody are going to believe what Aaron and I have to say. Because everybody comes to us skeptical because we don't blame you, right? Like, you've been misled before. So did we. But guess what? We're here to transform you so that you can transform your family. Because the reality is that it doesn't matter how you know, difficult the situation is right now, who I really feel even more sorry for is your kids. Oh man, don't get me started. So like, you know, you want your kids to have a better life? Guess what? You need to start showing up as a better leader by doing what you gotta do in order to transform you through action, not through what you say. I see so many, so many parents, my parents too, you know, like create a, create a college fund for their kids. Meanwhile, what impact are you actually making on them? When you transform you, you transform everything else around you. It touches everything, every relationship. And if it breaks relationship, it's because the relationship had to be broken a long time ago and you just didn't have the courage. I feel like we can go on a rant for another hour, but that's not the point. Yeah. We're here to help you guys. We love you guys. If you're doing the TKC with us, we're freaking stoked. Um, you know, we're going to blow your absolute mind. Um, for all the ES Army members, we're just raving. Appreciate you guys. You yeah, know, thank like you for we, all your we need your guys' testimonies because the reality is, is that nobody right like if it, especially say, if you were skeptical before you signed up right let's like, say jessica it, it seems like you're definitely immersing yourself i'm watching you and you know I, it's it seems like a new name shani you as well you know like y what you guys have to say is more important than what aaron and i say because you guys probably tried like 10,000 things before. Look at Rebecca, I thought it was bullshit and I just followed occasionally and watched a live video. <laughs> Stepping in this year has helped me become a better me, better mom, better everything. Not fully where I want to be, but this community and raw has helped me so much. My husband sees a difference. My kids see a difference. A lot of people That's see right. a difference and it's amazing community and program. Look, even if you're like, money is always like the thing like, yeah, but I don't have money and I don't have money and I don't have money. Um, I was at this point one time and the question I asked myself was like, well, I wasn't happy with me at all by any means. I was just like, well, I'd rather be, I'd rather be happy and homeless than have a little bit of money and hate myself. That's where I was. I'm not saying that's where y'all are, but, um, anyways, I was not intending on, uh, ranting that heavily today. <laughs> we answered two whole questions. But look, I hope you got value out of this. At the end of the day, we really want to help you. So whatever that means, if you're watching our free YouTube videos, don't care. As long as, please just apply. Please apply it. And if you do financially have the ability to jump into one of the programs that we offer, man, do yourself a favor. Like, money's renewable, dude. Money's renewable, but your days are not. That's power right there. So, you know. You guys are awesome. You guys, we wish you an incredible weekend. 17 days till the start of the TKC. Get yourself signed up if you haven't already. Just go to erinandsari.com forward slash TKC and get your loved ones on board. You guys, the more people who are in your life thinking the same way, acting the same way, I tell you, 
life becomes so simple. Okay? We love you guys. We appreciate you guys. EMS Army strong. Let's roll. Bye, guys. Have a great weekend. Bye.